What's up guys? Quick video. I wanted to give a long-term review of a Cast King reel. So Cast King is really popular, so I'm gonna throw up a review video real quick. So what I have here is a Cast King Sharky 2. This is the Bait Runner 3000. So this is the one with the uh, with the bait feeder on it. Uh, that one, okay? What do I think about the reel? I like the reel. Actually, I really love the reel. Um, this reel, objectively, has held up to some really big fish. Um, I've caught 20 pound blue cats on it in the river. Uh, works perfectly, the drag is smooth, the drag is strong enough to handle a big fish. Uh, sorry if there's wind noise. Um, we just had a front pass through and the wind's pretty bad. Um, but this reel is predominantly used in salt water. So when I saw these, when I saw these for sale, um, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I pretty much only use Shimano. Well, not pretty much. I only use Shimano. Um, that's it. So when I saw these, I needed a saltwater reel. And I really felt like there's no way that that reel can be that cheap with a carbon drag, a bait runner feature, and a metal handle. There had to be something to it. Okay. So real quick rundown and I'm going to give you a comparison to kind of show what I'm talking about. Mechanically this reel has not failed yet. I've had this reel for two seasons now. Saltwater. I have fished with this reel in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. So full blown absolute oceanic salt. Okay, those those are out in the ocean. Surf fished with it backside of the islands. Fished it in the grass for inshore species. Um, been out on a boat. It's been on a kayak. It's got salt spray from the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, it's been wet in the James River, which is freshwater, brackish, <clears throat> and the reel is held up. Where I think Cast King saved the money on it, aside from it being assembled and owned and all that outside of the U.S., which is going to cut the manufacturing cost, um, where I think they saved the money is in the finish, not the fit and the finish, because nothing's loose, nothing's broken off, nothing's wobbling, but the finish, okay? I don't know if this is going to come up really good on camera. Right here, the uh, the guy that that uh, the bail, all right, right where that where that bail wire comes in to the actual bail roller, that is. Look at that! I just touched it. I just touched it, and that came off. Okay, a little bit of metal on my finger. So, um and the the metal underneath is pitting out um so i'm scratching that off it's powder all on my hand so that's a concern because that's right where the line is going to go over into the bail roller um if you have monofilament you just cut your line it's straight up honest with you but that is a real concern here's the bait runner um right here if you look can see the corrosion and the pitting on it where that metal is, is starting to come apart on me there also um, so aside from that everything else looks okay but looks like the exterior some of the parts are sub quality uh, this is a real concern so I was looking to get fishing kid 06 a new reel and I was looking at getting a cast king because if you saw the video where he got owned by that bull red that he had a small pin he doesn't have big hands, so I have to try to get a small enough reel that's strong enough to do what I needed to do. Um, that fish broke his pin. I was looking at getting him uh, Cast King Mella. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that now because I don't want him to have to deal with this and then have to deal with line breakage issues. Okay, so um, that is a huge concern. Mechanically, wait, this reel is solid. That's a problem. So your line is going to come over that bail wire. For those of you who don't know, come over that bail wire and drop into that bail roller. Right here, it's rough. It's catching my finger. That's going to eat through line. Okay. Maybe not the braid, although braid cuts easily. It's not going to fray. The, if you have mono on here, that would certainly, it's rough enough to cut through your mono over time. Okay. The other thing, other than the, the corrosion and the pitting here, I'll try to get some still images so you can see them real good. The other thing is the actual bail roller. So when you come around the bail, and it catches into that actual roller you can't see it but in this arm where that roller fits 
is rusted. So there is rust inside of here where the bearings should be. Okay, again, I, I knew money had to be saved somewhere. It just doesn't make sense. They had to cut cost somewhere. Something on this reel had to be subpar. Um, I love the reel, but that's a that's a game changer for me right there. I mean, that's a deal breaker. So, okay. Um, for those of you who may be looking at this and like, oh, you're knocking Cass King or what have you, let me show you. That's a Shimano. This is an old, old, old Shimano, okay? This is a 2000 FH um, Shimano, what is this? Okay, when I bought this brand new, um, I don't know, I may have paid 89 bucks for it years ago, okay? We're pushing 15 years on this reel. Hasn't broken yet, haven't had to replace any guts, any bearings, any anything. This was a tournament reel that I used from Pink Worms that I retired to salt water. This reel has been in salt water, my God, six or seven years. Mechanically, it's perfect. There's no chipping, there's no fraying on the bale. Um, none of the finish has come off. The finish has rubbed off, but just to show you the difference in the plating, what's underneath is stainless. It's not rusting. There's no rust on this reel anywhere. The brass color has rubbed off over time, okay? Not flaked off, not chunked off. It's real brass because back here there's patina, okay? There's the green patina that you get on actual brass when it starts to tarnish, okay? Mechanically, the reel is still fine. I fish it on 20 pound braid. You see, I got a popping cork on it so that you believe I'm using it in salt water. There's no corrosion issues. There's no rust issues. That's the original handle. She's still turning. Everything's good here. Everything's good here. Why did I show you this? I take care of this reel the exact same way I take care of the cast king. Okay. When I come back in, they both get the same treatment at the same time. This one has pitting and corrosion and flaking of the metal. This one does not. Now, this one doesn't have carbon fiber drag and the bail, the spool isn't as big and all that stuff. It doesn't have an oversized bail wire, but I don't care about the oversized bail wire if the bail catch and the bail roller fail. This is irrelevant. Um, I don't know. Um, I've got one other one in the garage I could show you. It's a $29.99 Shimano. I bought them from Walmart so that if I broke them, I didn't care. If they went off the kayak, I don't care. If they go in salt water and get destroyed, I don't care. If a redfish or a striper shatters the gear, I don't care. It's 29 bucks. They have been in salt water for seven or eight years. None of the issues that this Cas King is experiencing. Um, no pitting, no corrosion, the brake, the, the drags haven't seized up, the handles haven't seized up, the bearings haven't gone bad, and that's a $30 Shimano. So comparatively for price, you can still get a $30, $40, $50 Shimano, okay? Yeah, you won't have carbon fiber drag, but go on eBay and buy a carbon fiber drag mat and grease and assemble you your own carbon fiber drag. But that's my long-term review of the Cas King. Guts, solid, haven't broke it, nothing's done anything to it, 20 pound catfish, haven't touched it. Exterior, not holding up to salt water. Not holding up to salt water. So, if you don't go salt water fishing, have at it, okay? But this, in my opinion, is an absolute deal breaker to try to take this real salt water fishing. Can't be done. Um, there's some more flaking and pitting, the metal's coming off over here too, so definitely has a lot fewer handle cranks than anything else on this boat and it's failing the fastest so but again you get what you can afford so.